let's talk about some booktube channels you might enjoy this is nominally my 1000 subscribers recommendation video kind of paying it forward to people who you know well because people have helped me before recommending smaller channels that i think are good that you might enjoy some not much smaller than mine um i've got six channels these will not be big channels i watch some of the very big channels uh, there's some really good medium-sized channels like you know run by people i think are great people andrews wisley reads uh, nico's book channel um dominish books uh, we won't talk about those we'll talk about um six uh yeah channels who i think if you like my channel you might enjoy their channel uh, or at least it'd be interesting to see what i watch uh, so first an erudite adventure tony and kate uh make have a really nice channel which is is they're, they're both friendly screen presences both very uh authentic and earnest um, and there's a massive variety of things they talk about uh or you know classic pre 20th century classics classic sci-fi fantasy tolkien uh tony's massive into tolkien and we uh, have live streamed on tolkien before uh, he and, and kate uh, are both yeah they, they 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 both have a wide range of interests i pick up books where he'll be like oh i you know uh, he um he likes westerns which is great he'll also say oh here's these classic books that i read when i was you know 10 15 whatever years ago when i was younger classic well known and i'm like i've never heard of them and then you find out you know they're actually quite big in america uh so uh yeah uh interesting channel pleasant vibe i like pleasant vibes i like people who seem themselves second uh, more of the same uh, let's go for uh patrick ryan patrick is like your friend talking to you about the books he's read um he it's a pretty chill and um easy channel uh he, it, it it doesn't have the sense and this can be a thing in some booktube corners of highly presented highly produced videos and patrick is just all nice and easy and chill um and there's a sense of buy-in if someone you're watching you, you can kind of tell they're just themselves. You can tell they like this stuff or they don't like this stuff. So yeah, I like Patrick's channel. He both touches on current uh, bookshoe darlings and his own niches, his own things. Uh, so there's a good variety there. A third, um, yeah, you shouldn't subscribe to this guy because his channel's nearly as big as mine, Liam's Lyceum. Liam and I have collaborated several times before. Uh, we have lots of shared interests, Gene Wolfe, Michael Moorcock, J.R.R. Tolkien um, and uh, yeah, Forgotten Realms Fiction. He talks about all these. He's very productive, posts nearly every day. There's poetry readings. Um, there's uh, stuff on kind of authors you might like to know about, kind of it, author spotlights, things like that. All kinds of pr products and an enormous range of reading and real, um, lots of book reviews. Book reviews, uh, I might have mentioned before, like are obviously neglected because the algo doesn't like them. But if more channels did more book reviews, we'd all be better served. A good spoiler-free book review is an incredibly valuable product, I think, um, to the community. If you want to know what a book's about, if you want to engage, uh, and if you want to sort of just, just dip your toe in. So yeah, uh, most of the channels I'm talking about, not all, you know, different degrees, but basically most of them are big into reviews, big into let's actually just talk about a book rather than, you know, other forms of more popular content. Fourth, Bookends and Biscuits. I assume that is your, your last name. Um, uh, Bookends and Biscuits, she has a great channel. Uh, it's got a lot of um, kind of, there's different angles, different things talking about, you know, both genre-wise, sci-fi, fantasy and crime. Um, and also style of content, um, you know, whether it's the, the vlog or the, or it's like, you know, catch up or, oh, I went to a, a con or something like that. Um, yeah, there's a good range of stuff read, some of which kind of counts as, oh, it's, uh, this, this is popular and people like it, but it's, it's approached in a slightly different angle, different way. Um, and, uh, there's also some, some more niche stuff. Uh, I like, yeah, the scratching beneath the surface so that you're not just got, you know, another video of someone reacting positively or negatively, purely first order, no reflection to a book, you know, the biggest new book on the block. I think as much as that can be a nice thing to watch and you can really like the host, I think the value proposition on that is actually quite low. Um, you know, you can watch one of those and then after that, it's probably not worth it. Uh, whereas, 
people who are offering just a bit more reflection, just a bit more engagement. Um, and I think Bookends and Biscuits does a bit of that. So yeah, um, good channel. I'll put, that, I'll put them all in the description. Fifth, David Wiley, uh, similarly an algorithm buster. Here's a book haul of random Penguin Classics uh, medieval literature. This is Christine de Pizan. Um, oh, this, and this, that's a real example, made up example, but very close to the truth. Oh, this year, each month, I'm going to read a Norse saga. Come and read with me. Um, just very fringe stuff with no particular concern for whether or not it's hitting the wave. That's valuable uh, because it's very easy to be tempted by what videos do well. Um, and I think David just is churns away, kind of gets his work done, gets it out there uh, when he can. And is like, this is what I'm interested in. This is what I've read. This is this poem. This is medieval thing. Here's a sci-fi thing I read. Here's a classic thing I read. Um, and just the stuff that interests him. And I think that defines a lot of the channels I've mentioned is you have a sense of people who are making content that interests them. Um, and that then becomes fitted for an audience rather than the other way around. Finally, uh, the uh, final person, Jeff Palermo. I think that channel was formerly Jeff Reads. Jeff has done things like uh, podcasts and stuff before as well. Uh, Jeff, it's a multimedia channel, uh, books and films particularly, and it might be, he might be talking about reading an, a classic Bond novel. It might be about seeing a blockbuster in the, the cinema last week. Uh, Jeff does longish form videos, which are um, less popular on BookTube than they should be, I think because it's a less visual thing. I video, you know, video game long forms are such a core part of uh, video game reviewing discussion and so on that someone doing a half hour, hour long video in that, if it's good, that will succeed. Whereas in, in booktube and books, that's less common. And I think to a significant, you know, much less common. Jeff does that, that's valuable. Uh, and he also does, like I've said with a few of the others, scratch beneath the surface, just engage at a slightly more serious level. Uh, which I appreciate, you know, I'm watching booktube, I think, partly to hear about books I might like, so the review is valuable, and partly to be given an angle or an understanding of something, even if I disagree with it. Um, it's a great thing about buddy reads, obviously, as well, isn't it? Just hearing someone else say, this is what my considered thought was about this book and its themes or whatever else, or the tropes or the style. Um, and Jeff, as with many of the others, is very good at that. Anyway, I will put those in the description and uh yeah check them out watch their videos with five of them subscribe and then with liam report him for hate crimes let's chase him off youtube let's end this threat to my reign um uh, if you've got channels that i might enjoy or that you think other people who watch my channel might enjoy put them in the uh, comments and let's check them out together uh, i will watch them in the meantime and i will see you next time